Miss, will this be included in a test? Miss, how many hours of studying does the test need? Miss, how many more A's should I get to have a 3.9 GPA? These are all common questions you may be asking right now, and we do not blame you, because schools and universities make it seem like you need to have straight A's to be successful. Well, let us tell you something. You can get an F on every single test. F, F for everybody. <laughs> not only be successful, but live a very happy life. The reality about school systems is distorted. It is making you fall back then fall forward and tricking you to believe that being number one is everything. Let's start with answering the second question. How many hours of studying does the test need? This should not be asked because each student has different needs and different learning styles. A very popular theory called the VARC model identifies four primary type of learners, visual, auditory, reading and writing, and kinesthetic. This simply means that visual learners learn best by visualizing ideas, auditory learners retain more when hearing the information, reading and writing learners learn best when reading or writing, and kinesthetic learners learn best by doing and going through the experience. And schools usually do not pay attention to that. Next, we're going to discuss how schools teach us to become restrained and dependent. In schools, students are taught to follow rules letter by letter. In all classes, a student is supposed to follow the daily routine of solving the exercise chosen by the teacher and with a specific time limit he or she cannot cross. This does not develop any value students need in order to achieve individual success. Sometimes students need to find their own way and think outside the box. Pablo Picasso once said, all children are born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. So that is why my friends, schools need to change their system so it can be a better rearing environment that repels children to keep on unleashing their artistic creativity. Education, it's a big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later we'll be in trouble because the way we teach the, the thing we talk, teach our kids are the things that the past 200 years is knowledge based. And we cannot teach our kids to compete with machine who is smarter. We have to teach something unique. That is, machine can never catch up with us. Next up, we're going to talk about standardized testing. You know, the idea that all types of learners will have to take the same exact test that assesses specific learning areas and leaves out others. Teachers end up teaching the students how to prepare for the test instead of giving them a well-rounded understanding of the subject. And we have a quiz tomorrow. What? what? On the first hundred pages. Also, not everyone's favorite subject is mathematics. Poetry is just as valuable, but it is not appreciated enough. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Additionally, standardized tests can be detrimental to a person's mental health, since she or he may consider it as a prediction for later success, while it is certainly not. Remember, you are never defined by a number. Like, ever. The absolute worst thing is when parents think that it would be motivational if they point out your test scores and tell you that you could have done better. That would be heart-wrenching, especially when you spend a lot of your time trying your best to study well. But there is no at least you tried, because schools don't really care if you worked hard or if you did your best, because you failed. But we're working really hard. You're not working hard enough. I need results. However, success is certainly not dependent on this one test you did. Your success story is yours to be written, and it won't be damaged because you picked option A over option B after much pondering. Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, once said that the greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. The entrepreneurial culture thrives when it is easy to try lots of new ideas. Facebook wasn't the first thing I built. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. Even Beyonce had to make hundreds of songs to get Halo. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. Work interviews will never ask you for that. And even if you feel down, remember that failure is a part of success. The funniest thing that we are taught what to learn and never how to learn. 
That is why we don't know how to retain information, nor acquire knowledge. Moreover, we are not taught any of the valuable skill set we will surely need, like how to organize our finances, or pay the rent, or how to build successful relationships. Plus, schools in general rigor stress. A study found that teens are spending on average one-third of their study time feeling stressed, anxious, or stuck. Why? Because of the unreasonable amount of homework, exams, and pressure that keeps building up. Yet, schools don't teach students how to handle it. We always hear, concentrate on the exam. Thing is, we do not know how to concentrate because no one taught us how to. For instance, Finland is considered as having one of the best educational systems in the world. Why? Because homework don't exist and students there typically spend less time in school than other students. Hold up, the educational system is better because it requires students to spend less time studying? You got it, Sherlock. Experts in Finland heavily rely on facts about the brain and how it can work better. So, by resting and enjoying life more, a student's performance in school could skyrocket. Next, we have the outdated school system that is still relying on textbooks when we are living in the 21st century and can get used to the infinite number of platforms that allow us to narrow down our search and get the results we need while saving time. Dictionaries are at our disposition at any time if we need to search for definitions. This is something to take advantage of instead of disdain. And to be completely honest with you guys, the most daunting thing about school is our inability to enjoy it and connect the lessons to real life. It is a hundred times more difficult to write an 800 words English report than a 1000 plus word script for a YouTube video. If you are a teacher, we urge you to create new engaging ways to teach your students and make it appealing to all four types of learners we mentioned earlier. If you are a parent, please don't be hard on your kids. Listen to them and try to help them. Let us know what you think of the educational system as a whole make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel like this video leave a comment and turn on the notifications for future content